we have the resources to stay in isolation. Homeless population does not, and it's in that gap where it can get away from you. Right now, people across the country are being asked to stay home, limit their travel, and protect their health. But for one local shelter, they say the focus needs to be on the city's most vulnerable, for it is they who pose a major risk to community transmission. Nobody's given nothing. Nobody's given you nothing. Information. No. Meet Billy, a man who's lived on and off the streets of Winnipeg for years. On any given day, he struggles to find food, he's in constant pain, and he's forced to live on little money. With no phone or television, he's not able to get information in order to protect himself from COVID-19. You would never be able to find that information out. And I wouldn't be able to do it. Right. When you live on 200 bucks a month and you starve three weeks of the month, you have to eat. And you have to go out and you have to walk that's around. That's right, and that's what sucks. Another barrier for the homeless, their health. Billy says he's always short of breath and isn't sure right now if he's presenting symptoms or not. They would ask you if you've traveled internationally, to which you would answer... No. And then they would ask you if you've bumped into anyone who's positive for COVID-19. Would you be able to answer that? No, because nobody knows, right? Billy knows dozens of people who rely on using a shelter every night, and he says there's a good chance you're brushing shoulders or coming in close contact with someone. It's this exact reason why Main Street Project's Rick Lees says they could be a catalyst for community spread. Vulnerable people are not um, an island unto themselves, and they interact freely with all of us uh, in terms of finding safe places to stay warm, like malls, in using public washrooms, um, and so on. They are with us and amongst us, and they're, our, they're part of our community, so they should get the same level of uh, concentrated supports as we do everywhere else to keep us all safe. Lee says community organizations are in need of funding and space for shelter now more than ever. He says with social distancing, they've had to begin using more space per person in their shelter, and this only leads to more questions. How do you isolate a homeless person? If someone does get COVID-19 um, and they are a chronic substance user, we may need to have to provide that substance uh, with, to prevent them from having serious withdrawal issues and death. Um, if somebody's a chronic meth user or a chronic alcohol user, to, to immediately not have that available to them while they uh, isolate uh, uh, could move to another life-threatening issue. Lee says the vulnerable are more often than not immunocompromised, so the spread would be fast-tracked, and those people are known to travel around Manitoba as a whole looking for their next place to get shelter. Lee's solutions, more shelter, and the ability to send advanced care paramedics out to do on-the-ground testing. We need to have the ability uh, at all three facilities as large shelters to have testing on the ground, um, again, so that we can do proper assessments here and where appropriate do testing. That's the best way to get ahead of community spread within vulnerable population. In Winnipeg, Mike Albanese, City News.